RPA is just kind of a piece of a bigger intelligent automation recipe uh, that involves digitally engaging a customer, that involves assisting agents with their automation, it involves back office automation as well, but uh, those solutions by themselves vertically in an organization only, only serve to create more silos and so AI is really um, helping us step out of those vertical silos and, and help build more of a connected experience where we can understand understand sentiment, understand intent of the customer as they engage with us in those digital channels. And then once AI can make that decision or identify the next best thing to do, well at that point, that's where AI can come together with RPA if, in fact, you need RPA to now go and update disparate systems where you don't have APIs to. If you have APIs, if you have those services available, well, RPA, robots are not needed. So uh, to just slap those two acronyms together and say, this is why we're different, uh, you really need to push the vendor and, and understand the use cases. And a lot of the use cases are, you know, AI is used up front to determine what best next action to do. And that next action may be a chance to upsell a customer. It may be to change uh, an address. It may be to provide a certain self-service capability like uh, update a dispute or to take the agent through a possible script uh, and to do that kind of dynamically while learning leveraging natural language processing. So uh, there's all sorts of ways and different, different things that we're doing as a vendor community, but um, you know, don't just believe the hype uh, and don't just accept a set of credentials in front of RPA. Really, let's start uh, having transparency in software with both our prospects and as a vendor community to make sure that we're truly understanding the use cases for AI and that we don't take our customers through yet another hype cycle uh, and misalign expectations with reality.